Okay. Hi guys. I'm in the bathroom because this is kind of where the lighting is the best. I still don't know if you're going to be able to tell. So I'm about to get my hair done. Oh, you can definitely tell. So if you remember the whole hair fiasco of April 2021, and you guys will have remembered what it looks like, what it looked like. So we had got it fixed, and um, the hairdresser told me that the toner would lighten up over time, like over with washes and stuff. And you can definitely see it on this side, um, the dual tone here. The problem is, this is like the only chunk. Like there are tiny little strands, um, but you, they're not really as noticeable as just this giant streak of a different color. This side's a little bit better. Hang on, I have something tucked behind my ear. So this side's a little bit better. You can see it's a little bit more blended out through. Like right here's one, here's one. Yeah, see, I don't love this. <laughs> don't love this, uh, this look for me. So, so I wanted to do a before shot, um, my mood right now, I'm, I want to get it fixed. Um, I want to get, I don't want that anymore. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully when you're done, I'm also happy with the end result. Hopefully it's not like last time where I was so excited and then I got like two vivid chunks of, oh my gosh. So the last clip I was supposed to show you my hair. Completely forgot. That was yesterday. Um, as you can see, the lighting in here is bad. I took off my makeup so my face is really red so it makes this look redder on camera than it, what it actually is. But I, I do I do like it though. <sighs> Let me see if I can go into some better lighting because I want to do it justice. I think it looks very cute, very summery. It's a nice little refresh of all of the color. I do. I will say I like it a lot more when it's curled than when it's straight. Um, but I do. I do think it looks just looks cute. I think in a few weeks I'm gonna go back and see if she can darken these little bits up just a teeny bit because they came out a little bit a little bit chunkier than I wanted. Just these front two bits. This one's not as bad, but this one just feels like a little bit bigger. Otherwise. I really enjoy it. I like it. I think it's fun. I think it's fun and summery and you know what? It's a change. So I love change when it looks <laughs> good. I actually just finished, I just hopped off my live stream with Autumn and Maddie for the write-a-thon. For the final write-a-thon of the night, we had a lot of fun. I'm feeling very tired, but I have a lot I need to do left still tonight. I need to outline, so I have to do that. I was debating about pouring a glass of wine. I don't know if I will or not. Oh, I have a live stream tomorrow at 9 in the morning. <sighs> Maybe it's not a good idea to drink the wine tonight. Maybe I'll drink it tomorrow. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling today. I haven't updated my other vlog in a very long time either, so I need to go do that. See you guys tomorrow. I know this is, a, this is probably a bummer clip, but so far camp's going great. I've stuck to not breaking my chain. I haven't broken my chain and today is day 10 of camp. So we have, I have to do something today and then I will have done something every single day of camp. So feel good about that. I got a formatting client, um, my first formatting client ever. So I am working on his formatting at the moment. We will um, send it over on the 14th when it is finished. So I'm very excited about that. If you guys didn't know, my formatting services are linked down below. I also have to write my Patreon story or at least get an understanding of like what chapters I want to write in Harry's point of view. So that's something we need to do as well. But I don't know if we're going to do that tonight. We might do that tomorrow morning because I am dead tired. Not dead tired. I'm just sleepy. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go update my um, other vlog clip and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to come on really quick and let you guys know that I, <sighs> I finished outlining all seven of those books, which is absolute insanity. Um, I still can't believe they're done. It's actually 12.08 on the 12th, so it's technically the 12th, but I feel like I would still count that um, as a part of the 11th. I know the lighting's not great because my I'm like right overhead of my light, but uh, it's crazy. I can't believe I'm done. Um, I do want to talk a bit about the books really quick. 
Um, so I plan on kind of fast releasing these books and they all kind of revolve around the same timeline. They all kind of happen a bit concurrently and they all freaking happen like in the fall. So there's some football books, there's some non-football books. Um, I, I realized, shoot, <laughs> I can't release all of these books at the same time in the fall, you know? Um, I can't release more than one book every month. <laughs> and so it kind of got me a little bit stressed. Like, I, well, I have football books releasing in February, you know? And to some, that's probably not a huge deal. And probably to most, it's not a huge deal. It's easier to like market books when they're in the same timeline, like um, winter-ish kind of seasons for me. It's easier for me to market and easier for me to get kind of in the headspace. And I know like different parts of the world, the seasons are different. So even if it's August art, like um, Northern Hemisphere time, that's still a different um, season in Southern Hemisphere time. So I know it's just kind of, probably not that important but I was kind of stressed so I kind of tweaked my publishing schedule a little bit so let me grab my journal and we can go over it with you guys of course this is a tentative schedule nothing is set in stone um, because it's still so far out so nothing is set in stone don't take this as like set in stone please don't but um, this is like a tentative release schedule that I got <sighs> so seven books right I kind of wanted to do a fast release but not too fast of a release um, I didn't want to burn anybody out so we have book number one releasing June 2022 book number two releasing August of 2022 Book number three releasing October of 2022. Book number four releasing January of 2023. Book number five releasing April of 2023. Book number six releasing July 2023. And then book number seven releasing um, October 2023. First off, can we just say how insane... That's weird that it casts such a bright light on my chin. Can we just talk about how insane it is that I'm plotting out books for 2023? That's like mind boggling to me. That is so bizarre. So weird. Um, I'm plotting out books for 2023. However, there's one issue that I have discovered. <laughs> so my next book is coming out November of this year. So November 2021. Um, and then my next book wouldn't be until June of 2022. For me, it just feels like a very large gap of no books. So I don't know what I wanna do. I don't know if I want to kind of like rack my brain for like a book idea, um, or if I want to add one more book to the Love in Fenton County um, book list. I, I don't know. So that's gonna be taking some brainstorming. Um, coming up yeah I, I just don't know what i want to do so that's something you guys can come and join me on in that journey together we can talk about it if you have any suggestions please leave them down below <laughs> but it's probably not that big of a deal to go from november to june without publishing a book i know a lot of people's publishing schedules are different um but for me i just i'm kind of focusing on this for me and how i feel about this you know uh everybody's publishing schedules are different so i really want to stress that but yeah so like for me it just feels like a big gap um with no books uh, so i'm trying to branch out to see if i can add a book or maybe i just need to take that time and i don't know work on the series maybe not sure not sure but i'm gonna probably talk about it with my patreons or my patrons over on patreon at our next live stream so i'm excited for that but yeah i finished the outline today guys i finished the outline seven books we started on page i think it said 59 and got to 107 yeah, 59 to 107. So we, this many pages. That's a lot of pages. And every book has five outlining pages as well as one photo spread. We have the elevator pitches. We have the working blurbs. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now I gotta go edit YouTube videos. So check in with you guys soon. Also, that's like my, that was my camp goal to edit those books. So I guess I needed camp goal number two. Isn't it crazy to think that this time last year, my camp goal for this month was working on, was it working on If the Room Fits? Oh my gosh, I think it was. That's crazy. Uh, 
Time flies, guys. Time just flies. I feel like a an entirely different person. I'm gonna go and edit that YouTube video. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. And then I can figure out what I'm doing next for camp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're back in my ugly work clothes. Um, I stopped by my PO box today and I got goodies. Hang on, you're a little close to me. Don't stand so close to me. So one of these I actually knew was coming. The other one I did not. So I'm very excited to open it. This one's from Cat Winters. Ooh. Oh, is this a book? Oh, this is a beautiful bookmark. Look at how cute this is. It's a little tassel. This is absolutely adorable. Did you make this cat? Oh my gosh. This is just so cool. Um, but Kat sent me her book, Free Me, um, because she had mentioned how she likes my pictures that I do with my books. And I was like, well, if you send me your book cover, like, um, message it to me. I would print it out and, like, you know, make books or I could, like, Photoshop it onto a book. And she just sent me the book. So I'm going to have a lot of fun doing pictures with this one. So I am very excited. At what price can we save the ones we love? Oh, that sounds really good. Um, this one's from Megan. Megan, I was not expecting this. So I'm very excited to see what is in this box. It's not a box. It's a bubble mailer. <gasps> Megan, me I, I saw this cover. I saw, um, was it Designed with Grace post about it? Yes, Designed with Grace. I saw her post about it. Look at how beautiful this book is. Thank you so much for being an inspiration. I hope you like it. Oh, oh and look at this cute bookmark. Cute, and then as she signed it on the back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to dive in. Oh, and she's got a fun little, like, oh. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so, so much, your hand, for the fun book mail. Let's do a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, book mail is one of some, like, the funnest things to get. Um, it makes me smile every time. And I especially was blown away by Megan's. I hadn't been expecting it. So I am super excited. Thank you so much to Kat. Um, her book will be linked down below. And Megan's book will be linked down below. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a great way to have a day. I had a hard day at work, so... Coming home to books, or coming going to my post office, and then coming home to books, is like the best thing you could ever ask for. Hi guys, so it is a while later. Um, I ate lunch and did a few things, took a nap. I have a lot of beta reading to do. So yesterday I kept going with like the don't break the chain challenge. I out, I, try, I started to attempt to outline a book and then I realized I don't want to do that. I can't remember if it was in this vlog or if it's like on a different uh, I don't know what I, I don't remember when I said it. Um, how I feel like for me going from November to June is a long time to not release a book. What I'm gonna do instead, I think, everything is so much, it's it's just changing, you know what I mean? I Nothing is set in stone. I love the idea of being able to get ahead. So during that time frame, getting ahead rather than like trying to push a book in there. What I was thinking I could do, okay, hear me out is possibly release the Love and Fenton Bo County box set then. Like say like in March, I could release the Love and Fenton County box set. I feel like that's a good option. Have a release, but also to like, you know, I don't know. What do you think? I had a lot of questions about the box set. To be completely honest, I haven't really thought about the box set before. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to multitask. It doesn't really work when you do that. Uh, I launched a Kinda Vela story. Kindle Vela. I said Kinda. Kindle Vela story. Um, I haven't really been talking about it because it's just kind of something I had been thinking about and working on, but I didn't know if I was going to publish it or not. But it is called Curse of the Heart. It is actually a young adult paranormal romance. It is actually one of my old paranormal romances that I wrote years ago, um, but I went back to it to reread it and I loved it 
so much. So I'm revamping it, restructuring it, um, posting it on Kindle Vella. So here's like a working little blurb for it. While on vacation, Amelia is ready for a little romance, and who better to have the, a summer fling with than the hot guy who works as a stage act at the hotel she's staying at. He's handsome, charming, and takes her breath away. But what happens when the hot guy is keeping otherworldly, magical secrets? One that could threaten her life. Curses are real, and Amelia's found herself right in the middle of love, life, and death. It's fun. Also, her name is Amelia. Just realized I should have changed that because the girl in my book in November, her name is Amelia. It's fine. We can have two Amelias, right? Because this is being published under S.M. Sutton. I didn't really want to publish um, under the same pen name, a different genre. But I do think Kindle Vella is so different from everything else that I don't think it's anything too confusing. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just, that it is so different from the normal Amazon page and KU that I am okay publishing it like that. All right, so I got beta reading to do. I have quite a lot to do and um, it's gonna take a lot of time. So I might as well get crackin' lacking now and I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed until like 5.20. I got a lot done. I have one final chapter of Harry's story to write today. And then I have, let's just sit down and talk about it. And then I have two client works to finish up. I think I have like 80 pages left at the one, and then the other one is only like 60 pages. So those two are going to go by very fast. I sent the formatting to the um, client, so you'll see what they have to say about it. Hi, dog. Maya. I don't know why, but she does not answer when you call her name. What I'm going to do right now, though, I'm going to go out to my shed while it's not 70 million degrees. And I'm going to take pictures of Kat's book and see how they come out, see how they turn out. I have a few ideas I want to try, so I'm going to go out and try those. Goodbye. I can't function right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think I got a few good ones. I am going to go inside now. It is 10.14, so I have, I don't really have to get to work right now, but it's probably a good idea. I think I have one scene left for my Harry's point of view story that I want to do. Um, I'm not so sure how it's going to work out, <laughs> we'll just see. But then that puts me at five chapters for the short story this month instead of three like I've normally been doing. So I feel like that's a good... Is there anything out here that I can take a picture with this book with? I don't think, anyway. Um, but I like the fact that I'm doing five chapters instead of three. Harry's point of view is just so easy to write. <laughs> so, I enjoy it. So I have one last scene to write, and I think it's gonna be the scene where, um, or should you have to read Patreon to find out? Actually, let's do like a color today. I feel uncolorful. Ooh, not that. This one? Teal. Colors are fun, they're just a little hard on the eyes. Which makes sense. Dun, dun, dun. I also want to get ready for the day. I kind of want to implement that into my schedule where I am getting dressed and around for every day. Uh, whether that be put on makeup or put the contacts in, I don't know. But I just want to do something more than just brushing my teeth, you know what I mean, and staying in my pajamas all day, which is what I do. So I want to start making that a thing. Actually, you know what, let's just, let's get around right now. Um, maybe not makeup just yet, because I do have something I have to do today, so I'd probably do, do makeup then, but let's get around and be out of pajamas, into real clothes, and uh, make the bed. How about that? How about we make my bed? Who is she? I don't know. Woo! It's 
also didn't take a picture of my um, Studio Adorkable stickers today. I've been meaning to for the longest time, but um, I think today is the day. I actually do have a few emails I need to answer to, so I might do that first while those photos are uploading. Um, we successfully accomplished four sprints. That does not happen very often on this channel. <laughs> um, um, so I'm Brooke. Um, I'm Sarah Sutton. And I'm Autumn Ashley. Okay, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, the air conditioning seems very loud. I thought I heard somebody. The air conditioning seems really loud right now. I don't really know why. Um, I just finished sending in my last beta read for the night. Um, so all that I need to work on right now is finalizing Harry's story and um, getting that set up for Patreon tomorrow. Busy night's still ahead of us. It is 11 o'clock. So I'm hoping I can get everything done <laughs> in an hour. Um, I do have work tomorrow, so it's going to be interesting. Anyway, what was I was saying? Um, hi guys. I got mock-ups for my um, book, my, for the first book in my um, book series. It's coming out next year. I got the mock-up today. I ordered. I I actually did it really in far in advance because I didn't know how my schedule, my cover designer schedule, was gonna look um, for seven books, and I like having an idea of what things are gonna look like. Is anybody else like that? Um, so they're all stunning. Just little things in different ones that I liked, I didn't like. Um, so I asked my um, writing buddy friends what they thought. It's so hard to know, you know. And like, I don't want to run my cover designer ragged, so I want to be as kind of concise as possible. I got so many gel polishes. So I got these really to be fun um, and match them with like my book covers. So what I'm going to be doing today, oh, they're tiny. Um, I'm going to be doing blue and yellow, I think. I think that's the game plan to do all blue and then a yellow accent nail for Water Friends 4. Is this the right blue though? That looks better. Perfect. So yeah, okay. Okay, let's, let's do this. And break. <laughs> Boom. Cute, kinda. I mean, turned out cute. I think I like the blue, I like the yellow. Um, the yellow on its own was a little bit funky, so I did add some sparkles to it, so. Um, now I gotta take pictures of Water Friends 4, but I need to look a lot better than this. <laughs> I don't know about the cover, guys. I don't know! Hi guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog right now. It is actually the day that the vlog goes live. It's literally like 10 o'clock. I didn't really update you yesterday. Because, so I went out to eat with my friend. We both, we all, everybody who went got super sick afterwards. So my bet is like the ranch was bad because it didn't taste right. But we all still kept eating our food. I'm going to say it's the ranch. I don't know. We were all sick. Cheerful end to the vlog. Love that for us. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you... <laughs> If you are curious about how I outline my books, um, that video is coming on Monday, so do not miss out. Just hit that um, bell notification. So, hello. You hit that bell icon so you can get um, notifications of when I post videos. Um, if you aren't on my Patreon, you should be getting that video hopefully by the end of today. Um, you get early access over on my Patreon. So the tier one gets early access to videos, tier two gets short stories, and tier three is the self-publishing tier. And tonight we are having our very first self-publishing live stream. So we talk about questions, I answer questions, and we talk about like imposter syndrome, things like that. So I'm really excited for that. That's going to be fun. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of five young adult romance books, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. She's so cute.